What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Apex Programming. Now in this class, I'm going to talk about the different arithmetic operators. So let's get started. Now again, if you guys are familiar with other object-oriented programming languages like Java, you know that uh, you can use different arithmetic operators to two different things. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is the addition. So now let's first declare a variable with the integer data type. So we're going to type in I-N-T-E-G-E-R, right? This is a integer data type. And again, integer is a number with no decimal point. And let's give our variable a name and let's call it red. And I want to make red equal to, let's say, five, right? And end it with a semicolon. So now uh, we declared a variable with the integer data type. We call that variable red and our variable red has a integer value of five. So now let's try the first uh, arithmetic operator. It's called addition. So let's say red equals red. So now we're going to use this plus symbol here. One. And end it with a semicolon. So red equals red plus one, which would make uh, five plus one, which would make it six, right? So this is the first arithmetic operator. This is the addition, right? We're adding. So let's print it out. Let's see, let's see how this works. So we're going to use the system.debug to do that. So let's type in s y s t e m dot debug. Open and close parentheses, and then we have a semicolon because it is a statement. Inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in the variable name. The variable name is red. So let's hit execute anonymous. And now let's look for our, our user debug code. And our user debug code should be somewhere over here. And here it is. And it printed out the value of six, as you can see here. Now again, this was the addition, right? This is the arithmetic operator we call addition. And what this was doing is uh, it was adding the value of red plus one and saving it in red. And we knew that uh, the value of red had a value of five. So five plus one gave the value of red a value of six. So let's try another one, let's try minus. So this is uh, the next arithmetic operator. This is uh, minus or subtraction. So what's going to happen is the, the value of red, right, has a value of five. And five take away one, it's going to equal four and it's going to save the value in four. So let's print out the value of four. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hit execute anonymous here. Let's look for our, our user debug code here. And our user debug code is right here. And as you can see, it printed out a value of four. Pretty cool, right? So let's try the next one. Let's try multiplication. So let's delete this and it's this and it's the star symbol here. We, it's called the aspirin. And uh, this is going to be used to multiply. So this is the multiplication arithmetic operator. So again, the value of red has a value of 5. 5 times 1 is 5. So the value of, of 5 is going to be saved in red. So let's hit execute anonymous again. And let's look for our user debug line. And our user debug line is right here. And it printed out 5. Because 5 times 1 is 5. And it saved it in red. So let's try the next one. Let's try the vision. Now let's delete this one here. And it's this forward slash. This is the division arithmetic operator. Five divided by one is still five. So it's going to save the value of five in red. And let's hit execute anonymous right here. And let's scroll down and look for our user debug line. And our user debug line is right here. And I printed out the value of five. And so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.